In this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and some scripts on how to start conversations with total strangers on social media with the intent to lead into a business conversation. This will totally help you if you have products and services that you're trying to sell. So stay tuned. Welcome to episode 145. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. Okay, so when you're on social media, I want you to go into your business prospecting strategy with an I give a damn attitude and mindset. What do I mean by I actually give a damn mindset and attitude? Well, when you are reaching out to people, go and research them before you reach out. Go learn about them, go check out their profile, go to their about section, find out what they're into, find out what their pictures are like or their families or their hobbies. Do some sort of research or reconnaissance work on the person that you are reaching out to. I cannot tell you how many times people have copied and pasted a message over into my Facebook Messenger inbox and they didn't even take the time to learn about who they were reaching out to and they made themselves look like a complete fool and idiot. So don't be that person. Now, when you're checking out somebody's profile, let's say you find somebody sharp in a Facebook group or somebody left you a really nice comment and you wanna start the conversation with them. But you're like, okay, well, how do I start this conversation so it's not weird and it can intently lead into a business conversation? Well, go and find some transitional talking points or some interest talking points that you can lead the conversation with on their profile. So like I said before, go to their about section, learn about them, find out where they live, find out if they have a family, find out if they've listed where they work or what they do or their hobbies. Scroll through their newsfeed a little bit and see what kind of things that they post so that you can understand a little bit about the person that you are getting ready to start the conversation with. That is my number one biggest tip when reaching out to total strangers on social media with the intent to go into a business conversation. The first thing that you want to do is you got to start the conversation and you don't want to use copy paste weird messages when you do that and you don't want to look like an idiot. So once you've figured out what they're into, right? Where do they live? What kinds of things they're interested in? What other groups are they a part of? What do they like on social media? Do they have a family? What kind of pictures are they posting? Once you have a little bit of that information, then what you want to do is you want to send them a message and you want to start the conversation. Now, here's what I do before I send a message. I like to get on their radar. So what I'll do is I'll go to their profile and I'll start liking and I'll start genuinely co uh, commenting on some of their posts that they have on their newsfeed. That way I can get on their radar so that when I get into their Facebook message your inbox, it makes sense to who I am. And they see that I've kind of been engaging with them a little bit, not just one blast message that I'm trying to get across to them in their Facebook Messenger. Now, when I start the conversation, I have a three message formula that I like to use. And so the first message is always going to just start the conversation. That's the goal. I want them engaging back with me. I'm not going to send any business information. I'm not going to send any links to products for them to buy. None of that. I'm just going to start the conversation based on something that I've learned about them on their profile and something that I can maybe compliment or relate to in that conversation and start that dialogue. Now, in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, you know that I like to equip you with a free resource that you can use in your business and see results with. So today, since we're talking about how to start those conversations with strangers, I want to give you my three message text script that you can use on social media. So if you think that that would be beneficial to you and you'd like a copy of that and you can copy it and make it your own in your own business with your social media prospecting efforts, you can head over to the blog at tanyaeliza.com 
forward slash 145 and pick that up on today's blog episode. You'll see this video on the blog post and then right below the video, there'll be a big yellow button that you can click and you can request access to this resource that we put together that will help you learn the three message text script. I'm gonna give you some scripts here, but you probably wanna know the three uh, messages to come together with everything so you can lead into a business conversation. So I put that together for you on the blog. Uh, there is a link directly to the blog post if you're on my YouTube in the description box below this video or if you're watching it on my Facebook above or below this video, you'll link over to the blog, click the yellow button and request access to my social media three message text script. Now I'll give you an example of something that I like to do. Let's say I find somebody on social media that I wanna start a conversation with. The easiest way that I start conversation is talking about where they live. If they have their location uh, visible on their profile, it might say where they live. I wanna use that as a starting point of conversation. So for example, if I go to somebody's profile and I notice that they live in, let's say, Chicago, I might say something like this. Hey John, just wanted to reach out. I noticed that you were in XYZ group here on Facebook. I saw your comment on this post about XYZ. I thought it was pretty awesome. I noticed that you also live in Chicago. Is that currently where you reside? It's funny, I have a girlfriend, Paulina, who lives in Chicago as well. She absolutely loves it there, but the only thing she totally hates about it is it gets way too dang cold in the winter. Are you currently in Chicago? How are you loving it there? So you can see that I try to find something that I can relate and make personalized in that first message reach out. That is so, so important. And the goal is to ask a question so that they can engage back with you and start the conversation back with you. And if you pick up my three message text script, you're gonna see message two that I send and then message three that will lead into you talking about business without seeming salesy or weird or disingenuine. So all you have to do is head over to the blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 145 and you can get access to my three message text script that works really well on social media. So not only will you have the information here in this video and this episode to start the conversation, but to take the conversation into a business conversation within your first three messages back and forth. So just to recap, make sure that you are not sending copy paste, unpersonalized, disingenuine messages on social media when you're doing your reach outs. Try to find a way to make it personalized, try to find a way to relate, and most importantly, compliment them on something genuinely that you can find. That way they're going to be more inclined to engage back with you. And that first message that you send, the only goal of that message is to get them conversing back with you. Question of the week. Do you have any good tips when it comes to starting conversations with prospects on social media that's been working really well for you and your business? If you do, drop it in the comment section below, share what's working with you. I'd love to see what it is that you're doing and also come out and engage on your comment. So did you get some value from today's episode? I truly hope that you did. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Tanya Eliza TV. If you did get value, make sure to comment, like, and share this with your team or anybody that you feel might find value in this episode as well. And I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.